She's a bad thing. Shit. Funny as hell. Hey everybody, it's Ivy, and today I'm coming on here with a review and also a tutorial about my new hair. I've been getting a lot of requests about what this hair is. So I'm gonna tell you guys what type of hair it is, and then I'm gonna show you how I achieve this beautiful dark cherry red color. Okay, so the hair that I have in is from Savon Lux. I know you guys have heard of them before. I've heard of them a few times around YouTube. So when they contacted me for a review, I was super excited because I've been wanting to try the hair for a while now. And the hair that I have is the Savon Lux Curl. And the curl, I would describe it kind of like your um, Spanish curl or like wet and wavy type of curl. This curl is not going to be one of those really tight ringlet curls. This is the type of hair that's in between wavy and curly, which I love. When you have curly hair like that, guess what? It equals easy, easy maintenance. This hair is easy to take care of, easy to tangle, easy to co-wash, all that. It's, it's just a really easy texture to deal with. I think it'll be perfect for any time of the year, especially summer, and it's perfect for somebody you know that's just low maintenance with hair somebody that just doesn't like to do a whole lot all the time um with their hair so i made a unit using three of the bundles and also their closure this is what the hair looks like when you first get it it's a really pretty nice curl as you guys can see it comes in a nice natural dark dark brown to black color and these are the wefts you get a lot of hair on your bundle, a lot of hair. I used almost three bundles, and you guys, my hair is super, it's, it's super full, it's just to the side right now. And I have lengths, I think I have two 26s and a 24. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what I had. And the hair hits me, you guys, it's super long. I actually had to um, cut a little bit of my hair because it was, it was real long on me. And um, I don't like my curly hair too too long but if you like your curly hair real 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 long you know their lengths are kind of long for what they advertise them as so uh yeah that's even more for your buck and products to use on this hair just use any conditioner that you like that has a lot of slip i prefer something with some slip because it's just easy to get through the hair it's easy to detangle um that way and the company actually has their own products and the product that i like to put in the hair is a lavish lock-in it looks like this and the lavish lock-in is kind of like a leave-in and also a styler it helps define the curls and the hair is still like soft it's not crunchy and it also has a little bit of like moisture like it feels like really moisturized it's not crunchy and it's not dry at all i just put the lavish lock-in on my hair when it's wet when i've co-washed it and I just let it air dry in the morning, it's ready. And I don't uh, wash my weave on my head. I take my wig off and um, co-wash it like that. If you guys would like to see a video on how to wash and maintain your units, let me know. So um, getting down to coloring this hair was super, super easy. Now I've used this color in the past, but I have so many more new subscribers, so I'm sure you guys have never never seen me do this but i like to use uh the l'oreal high color and you can get that at sally's beauty supply store i haven't found it anywhere else but sally's so go to go over to sally's i got the color red and the color red will give you this nice it's gonna give you this nice deep cherry red color and that's what i wanted i feel like this color is universal on all skin tones because I'm a chocolate girl and I just I need the right colors for my complexion and this one you know gets the stamp of approval for women of color. So I used two boxes of that color and I used a 40 volume developer and I just um, mixed about 2.5 ounces of developer and one whole tube of the color and that gave me um, one portion then I did the other box so I had two boxes in total so all I did was um you know mix it up good it's gonna be like a runny consistency not too runny but not thick uh and you just run it through the hair I just poured it on the hair and just used my fingers and combed it through because I still kind of want 
like some of the black peeking through, but I still wanted, you know, the red to be visible. Not highlighted really, but I don't know, it's hard to explain. But uh, yeah, you just brush it through. I After that, I put temp oil on top and I let it process for I think about 45 minutes. Now, the longer you let it process, the lighter the color may be, but you might risk it damaging your curl pattern. So 45 minutes, if I even did 45 minutes, 35 to 45 minutes is all you pr pretty much need on curly hair. But if you're doing straight hair, you want to get really, really red, you can process it for even longer. So uh, after you process it, you just want to go ahead and rinse it out with cool water, shampoo and condition it. And this is pretty much how it looks. Now I was so happy that the hair did not lose its curl pattern. It didn't become tangled and it didn't become dry. The hair held up really well with the coloring. The hair held up really, really well with the coloring. I was really surprised because sometimes hair like this is already like a loose curl, which is lose all this curl and then I'll have to like diffuse it and do all this extra stuff just to make it curly. But this hair, I didn't have to do that. Now, as far as shedding and tangling, I don't get any tangles. I get some shedding when I'm detangling it to co-wash it. But other than that, you guys, this hair is soft as butter and i think this is one of those curly hairs that's going to be um easy to flat iron because it is like that loose type of soft loose fine soft curl so so far so good i don't have any any complaints like any complaints i'm i'm just so blown away by this company so i believe that's it if you guys have any more questions or comments please put them below i will check them out and get back to you guys any more information you're interested in about the hair or how to make a wig or anything like that will be in my description bar. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to thumb it up and subscribe and I will talk to you guys soon. Great scenes might be great, but I love your bloopers. Imperfects for the urgent, baby I want forever.